Morning, everybody. Well, it's been a few days since I talked to you guys. Um, I figured I'm going to do a little video today. I Again, I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, but we did manage yesterday to put new windshields in this truck. Um, this is a buddy of mine's truck, and he got new windshields put in it. Um, he had it parked in the barn here. And he's on vacation right now, so I was letting the guys in the barn to put the new windshields in. It, uh, I wanted to film it yesterday, but the guys were a little colorful in their language. So because this is a, how do I put this? Because this, is, this isn't a kid's channel, but because a lot of kids watch this channel, I had to kind of not film it. Um, after the fact, my wife looked at me and she goes, well, you could have filmed it and just put it to music or something. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't even think about that. But anyway, it is what it is. But they did a very, very nice job on this truck. Um, this windshield went in just fine. The passenger side windshield was a little tough for them. It was cold. They were using a butyl, like a butyl caulk thing. And... It was a little on the chilly side for them, but it uh, worked out good. They did a nice job. I mean, it, it, they did awesome. I would, uh, I would recommend them for any jobs as far as windshields. Uh, let me think, see if I can get their name. I'll give them a shout out real quick here. Hang on. All right, they are uh, Fast Break Glass Company. And they do auto, home, business, semis. Um, they're pretty reasonable, too, to be honest with you. They, uh, they're out of St. Louis, Michigan. But they did a phenomenal job, very professional. Uh, I'm impressed with the quality of work they did. They were very in and out, man. It was quick. So, yeah. Um, remember, fast break glass. So if you guys need the windshield replaced or something, give them a call. They did an awesome job. Um, this tractor, we are talking about trading it in and buying a newer tractor. So, um, so this one I'll have to get washed, obviously, because it's kind of, you can see the, the mud splatter there. But, uh, yeah, I sent a bunch of pictures to this of this tractor I sent into the dealer that we were talking to um, about a different tractor. They are, uh, the new tractor is out of Illinois. It's about, I don't know, five or six hours away from here. So um, we're going to see, see what we come up with. This tractor might be gone by spring. And uh, we're going to replace it with a little bit bigger loader tractor. This tractor is just a touch too small for the farm. Uh, you start putting a fertilizer wagon behind it, and the fertilizer wagon pushes this tractor around. So, I mean, it's just a, just a touch too small for what we want. And you throw the rock bucket on the front, and you go out and start picking rocks, and you get about a half a bucket load of rocks, and then and she starts getting tippy, and it's just... Not a safe, not a safe conditions for it. Um, we also are looking at getting forks for the new tractor as well, so that way I can move the seed totes around because the new tractor is capable of lifting 5,500 pounds up 12 feet, um, and the seed totes are about 2,200 pounds, and I have to pick them up at least 10 feet. So that's another plus for getting a different tractor. It will uh, make life a little easier on the farm. But yeah, come along for the ride. We're going to see what we do today. Uh, I have to get some things ready for a restaurant because I have to be. I have to work late tomorrow night at a restaurant. I have to do some work after they close, so I'll be working late tomorrow night. Um, but I got to get things ready for that. 
today and I'm going to do some other running around. I got to do some banking, things like that. Most of this past weekend, we spent most of the weekend working on computer stuff, working on websites, working on clothing line, working on, it was just, it was like a computer working weekend. It was, wasn't fun, but it's stuff that needs to be done on our downtime on the farm is when you spend time doing paperwork and book work and computer work and things like that. So it really worked out for the best. But again, I didn't film anything just because I'm inside working. I'm doing a lot of running around at this point. So, but I'm going to, I feel I'm neglecting my job as putting videos out so that's kind of why I'm doing a video today just a a video of me babbling is what it is and kind of explaining what's going on around the farm and keeping you guys up to date so all right I'm gonna get on with my day uh, I'll film periodically through the day and just kind of maybe I'll just babble my thoughts who knows so like I said come along for the ride let's see what happens today what up I just uh, stopped by the house here to let the dog do her business, her business. But the garbage seems to be melting a little bit. I mean, uh, you can start to see the grass again. That's a plus. And you can see the, the rocks out in the field that need to get uh, picked up this spring. But I figured I'd check in. Um, I've been doing a lot of running today. I did some banking. Uh, Rosa, don't you dare chase that rabbit. That's a good rabbit. Neighbors probably wondering what the heck I'm doing with a camera. Oh well. Not the worst thing they've seen me do. Anyway, um, yeah, we're, uh, I did some running today, did some banking. Uh, I picked up uh, a couple of the garage shirts from the shirt place um, the, the garage shirts are just kind of uh, we're going to be testing that product out next month when we're riding to see if I want to sell those or not um, I think I'm going to put them on the website but if I don't like them or think they're garbage then we'll pull them off the website you know uh, but yeah that's where we're at right now like I said, I mean, it's, this is the type of time of year that it's kind of boring because we're not farming right now. We're doing book work and paperwork and things like that and setting up meetings for uh, seed, getting our seed for next year or fertilizer for next year, spray and pre-order and all that stuff. Um, we're gonna be doing, I think we have a meeting next week if I'm not mistaken on ordering our seed for next year um, and as far as motorcycle riding well there's snow on the ground I mean garbage on the ground so we're not riding bikes too much right now I still I want to get started on the uh, the project bike that I'm gonna be doing um, but we'll see we've the wife and I have been busy at night so we haven't really been having much free time to work on getting that cleaned up and stuff so we'll see how it goes out goes on i should say come on stinker let's go rosa come come on come on you can do it come on she's just sitting there looking at me come on here she comes crazy dog she's a rocket all right we'll chat with you guys later i appreciate everybody Again, I know this is kind of a kind of short videos and stuff like that and not a whole lot going on. Come on, stinker. But it's that time of year. I just wanted to throw something out there just to touch base with you guys, kind of give you an update of, you know, what all's going on. And then uh kind of go from there. I don't know what she's doing. She's just standing there looking at me. Come on. She's like, do I have to? Been cooped up all day today. 
All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.